Hey Pat, Luke here, uh, and I'm just going to quickly walk you through how to make uh, a small change to Microsoft Word 2010 uh, that should bring the headers and footers back to um, pretty much all the documents uh, that we use. So all you have to do is we're going to make this change once and it's going to be universal. So it's not like you're going to have to do this to every single file that you open. So I'm uh, here in the uh, Dropbox, uh, in the Core Support Team Dropbox, and I'm just going to open up uh, the marketing folder and open up this core youth welcome video uh, file, which is one of the ones that uses a, a header and a footer. So we just open this up. So right here at the very top of the page, we should see the core logo. Down here in the footer, we should see um, just a little bit of contact information, I think. We should see the title over here. All that's missing. So what I'm going to have you do is uh, go over here and we're going to click on this blue tab here that says file. And then we're going to go down and click on this one button over here on your left that says options. That's going to bring up this um, window here. And we're going to go over and click on display. And then the magic uh, checkbox that you're looking for is right here, show white space between pages in the print layout view. Not sure how you're supposed to know that this has anything to do with headers or footers, but this is the box we want. We're going to say, OK. The headers and the footers are back. We're going to scroll down here. Footers are back. We're going to make a save. Uh, we're going to save this file, and this should save the changes uh, across the board on your laptop in Word. Go ahead and save it. Close it. And now let's look at something else that uh, should have headers and footers. Perfect. Here we go. Headers and footers. Uh, let's see if this one is doing it too. Great. Same thing. Headers. And down here, footers. Perfect. Okay. Uh, hopefully that works. If it doesn't, uh, let me know. Take care.